Hello, my name is Matthew Ramos. I'm the Director of Information Technology for Kendallfeld Imaging Systems. In today's video, we're going to be talking about installing the printer drivers for a Kyra Sierra photocopier. First things first, you're going to want to open up your internet browser. In my case, I'm going to be opening up Chrome. Then you're going to want to go and enter our website in the web browser, kempefeld.ca. Once the page loads, you're going to be looking for the What Services Do You Require box on our website. Then you're going to want to find the I Need Help With My Printer. In here, you're going to find some common videos and things like that about installing your print drivers, etc. Um, in this video, we're going to be going to the Kairoseras page. So we're going to click on the Download Drivers from the Kairosera page. This is the manufacturer's page where you download drivers. So you want to choose an option here. You want to click here and then start typing in your um, make and model of your Kairosera machine. So in this case, I'm going to be doing a 4551CI. Okay, now that I've entered that in, I can scroll down and I have different types of drivers here. Um, if you're a Windows system, you're going to want to click on here, the very first one, and download the KX driver. It's going to go ahead and download from the website. And then once, uh, you can scroll down here as well and find other drivers for your, like if you're a Mac or if... Uh, your Linux, something like that, you can get them there. So you want to go ahead and hit the download link. So once it's downloaded, you're going to run the install file. I'm just going to grab it here manually this time. Okay. And I'm going to hit yes. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to my device? Yes. It's going to load an extractor tool. It's just loading this up. Right there. You're going to see this come on your screen. That's okay. It's basically going to just extract the program so that it can run. This does take a minute for it to extract. Okay, and then this will load up the install files. I normally install um, a color and black and white driver. Uh, so basically all you have to do is hit the accept button, click OK, click custom install. Find the machine you're looking for in the list here. Okay, and then you can click on this button here this little arrow, it'll bring it over to this side. Then you want to select the driver. So you want to click on the first one here, KX driver, under drivers, and you want to hit that same arrow. Then you're going to get the install button here. You're going to click install, and you're going to go, no, I do not wish to take print uh, apart in this feature. Click OK. This is going to install the print drivers to my machine. This does take a few minutes to work. Once this is done, there is one option that you have to uncheck if you do not want a duplex printing, which is printing on both sides of the paper. Um, that'll come up here. So you see here, set duplex as default. You want to check that off. Click Finish. This is going to take a minute to load. And then once it's loaded here, um, I would do the install again. Um, since I've already done it once, I'm going to go ahead here and go click on Start. Type in the word Printer. You'll see printers and scanners come up. Going to go ahead and open that up. Then we're going to find the printer in the list. Okay. Then we're going to click on manage. All right. Here's where you can change the name of the printer. So normally when Kempefelt does it, we do one that says color and one that says black and white. So we can just do that. And I'm going to go ahead and type in black and white. Okay. So to make the change effective, you have to back out and then go back and find the printer again. Okay, and then I go manage. And then I go preferences. And then at the bottom here, you'll see color and then 
color in black and white. Because this is a black and white printer, I want to make sure that black and white is selected. When I do the color one, you don't have to make this change. You just name it color and it's just easier for you. And that's how we set up the printer driver for a Kyra Serum machine on a Windows system. Thank you.